Hey guys, thank you so much for floating on over here to the Awesome Madrone Show. Uh, just a few days ago, we saw a cocaine bear. Mm -hmm. uh, I do want to preface this by saying I am not some like pompous uh, like film bro. You know, <laughs> you know, I, mm -hmm. I, I, I'm, I, I wasn't going into this expecting like really high quality riding oscar level yeah like oscar level riding. <laughs> citizen kane yeah in fact i was kind of hoping it wouldn't because yeah. the uh, the i mean even though it's a true story well even though it's technically <laughs> true based, story yeah, it was at least like loosely based on a true story the idea of it's so ridiculous it there's like it shouldn't take itself seriously too mm -hmm. seriously and right. so i just wanted i just walked in here for some dumb fun you know that's all i was wanting out of this and i'll say this i'll say it's probably obvious, but the movie doesn't take itself seriously. Mm -hmm. The whole point of it is it's supposed to be dumb fun. Okay? And for those parts that are dumb fun, they really are dumb fun. Uh, but I'll say for a vast, for like a majority of the movie, other than every part, every part with the bear is really fun. And every part, every part where there's like some kind of gore happening uh, is really fun. Mm -hmm. But everything outside of that, I felt like it was heavily lacking. Yeah, and it's honestly really disappointing, which is no fault to the movie itself. But uh, most of the fun moments were in the trailer, I felt like, mm -hmm. uh, which was a lot of the moments with the bears. So it kind of took away from the enjoyment from seeing, seeing it for the first time. Uh, which I went to this movie, I, I had a dream beforehand, so that kind of helped me enjoy, <laughs> enjoy the movie a little more. But after I started thinking about it, uh, after a while, after seeing the movie, the more I was like, you know what, that <laughs> that was as funny as I was hoping. It seems like it either does not have, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure that it's a mixture of both. That, but like, it either doesn't have good comedic writing, or there's is some, there was some lines that I remember being like, that should have been funny, but I feel like most of these actors, I'm not going to say they're bad actors. I'm not going to, I really haven't seen them in a lot. Mm. Um, because I know, like, one of the guys is from Han Solo. I haven't seen Han Solo. Yeah. Uh, Ice Cube's son was in. Uh, Got to like Straight, the Monsters. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> no, kidding, and, uh, and, uh, straight up Gotham. Straight, I'm about to say straight out of Linwood, but that's, uh, that's, weird, <laughs> that's Weird Al's album. <laughs> But uh, yeah, Straight Outta Compton. I never saw Straight Outta Compton. I did see Godzilla, uh, King of the Monsters, but yeah. I really don't remember that. In there. <laughs> yeah, you barely had. Uh, Carrie Russell, I've seen in some things. She's not bad in this movie. Mm -hmm. um, Brooklyn Prince was yeah. in the Four Project, but she wasn't in this movie that much. Yeah, um, she's only in it a few few scenes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I I don't I'm not going to go out and say that these people are bad actors because they're probably really good. But I do want to talk about what really mattered for this movie. And that is comedic delivery. Mm -hmm. And for, I'm gonna say, like like most of them were awful at comedic <laughs> delivery. Yeah. It's either their comedic delivery or maybe the direction wasn't very good, which you have Elizabeth Banks. I haven't seen Charlie's Angels, but I have seen plenty of people talk trash about it. Yeah, and there's a whole controversy when it, she's uh, complaining about people not seeing yeah. <laughs> Charlie's Angels. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I, I do feel like, I mean, like I haven't seen it, but most of the complaints weren't just like sexist men. Mm -hmm. Like some of them were legitimate complaints. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, but, so I haven't seen it myself, but I will say that she doesn't have a great rap on directing. So maybe her directing wasn't very good in the, whenever they, for the actors to do comedic delivery. Whatever it was, it was the comedic delivery from everyone. Almost everyone was awful. The the bet the best comedic delivery was you, you had brought this up to me. He sounds oh, yeah. like from TikTok or something. Yeah, he's I, like I, he's a TikTok star. I'm not. I can't remember what his name was. Yeah, it's like uh, Strice or something. Yeah, like yeah. That. I, I whenever you brought him up to me, I was like, oh, I think I remember seeing him. Yeah, uh, he, he comes up on my news feed. Like I don't, I don't even think I follow him. Yeah, <laughs> his videos just pop up yeah, on my he, feed a lot. He's like he's guy, pretty funny. He's like this guy who like like talk, bring up points and like zoom up to his face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he has a mustache. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he is probably the only person in this movie who's like was at all good at comedic delivery, which is mm -hmm. kind of not surprising. Yeah, you know, <laughs> it, it, it just sucks that he's only in maybe like one or two scenes. Yeah. That I remember at least. Yeah, um, uh, he wasn't in that much. Yeah, and so that that that's that's the worst thing about this movie. And what's what what's unfortunate is yeah, sure there is a lot of fun bear scenes, but probably a majority of this movie does try to rely on the comedy. Mm -hmm. And the comedy is is awful. Mm -hmm. I'll say there's at most I might have chuckled like, like <laughs> you know one of those things you know uh -huh. <laughs> I might I might have done that like one like a few times. Mm -hmm. But overall the comedy was just either like I said either not well written 
or uh, the people delivering the comedy were just awful at it. I do want to commend the uh, special effects artists in this movie because, I mean, they're not like great or anything, the special effects, but they are better than you would expect from a movie like this. Mm. Like, honestly, the best way I can describe this movie is like, it feels like a sci-fi channel movie just with better special effects Mm -hmm. and maybe a higher budget. And like overall, the acting from everyone, it wasn't... It wasn't anything awful. I guess it was just it was just their community delivery. Uh, you know, especially character actress Margot Martindale ain't afraid of nothing. If there's one thing that's kind of upsetting about this, is that this is one of Ray Liotta's last movies. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, I, I think he has like maybe like two or three after this. But yeah, this is one of his last movies. <laughs> Which is so sad because this movie, I, I'm gonna be honest, I really feel like it had potential to be such high potential to be a cult classic, mm-hmm. and it it would have been great if they went if like if they went full blown like into the comedy and the comedy was actually good yeah you know and it was just a dumb fun movie having this would be one of ray Liotta's last movie it would have been pretty great right especially ray Liotta plays like this uh drug dealer you know and mm-hmm. so it would it would have been really great if this movie was good but unfortunately like yeah it's like one yeah. of his last movies and the trailer will probably become a cult classic because yeah, that, that, that's, that's pretty good yeah the trailer is good <laughs> i was hoping to be able to say something like well, I'll say this. If you wanted to watch this movie, then you're going to like it. I was hoping yeah. to say that, but I'm, I can't, unfortunately. Right. It's, I, I didn't hate this movie. I don't think it's awful. Mm. Uh, I just think it was... It, it was Whenever it was dumb fun, it was really fun. Mm-hmm. But outside of that, it was just... Entire, like lacking completely. Yeah, which I was surprised on the opening credits that uh, to see that uh, Christopher Miller and Phil Lord uh, produced this movie. They weren't directors, so that's probably why it wasn't mm. as good as their other stuff. But because they did like the Twenty One Jump Street movies and the Lego Movie, and I, I don't think they're the directors for Into the Spider Verse, but I think they're producers on that too. Man, that, this would have been pretty great if they were directors. Honestly. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They they would have made it really good. I think. Yeah, we are gonna say that Cocaine Bear is 40 percent awesome because like even if the movie was like even the movie was like funny all the way through mm-hmm. i probably wouldn't give it any more like 80 percent. oh yeah you right, know? yeah <laughs> just get away it is yeah <laughs> <laughs> like, like even, unless, unless that was like life-changing yeah <laughs> <laughs> like a truly oscar-worthy movie yeah, yeah then maybe but, i would have changed my mind yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so that, that like that being said like like the fact that it wasn't that what it what it needed yeah. to be you know, I yeah, think 40%. It's, it's like uh, Godzilla. Well, it's funny we brought Godzilla King of the Monsters earlier, but it's, it's a lot like that. Because uh, I get that thing I gave that movie an eighty percent, even though I loved it. It's one of my favorite Godzilla movies. Yeah, <laughs> I just couldn't give it more than that. Yeah, yeah. it's just dumb fun. Yeah, I would feel right giving it more than that. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyways, guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, comment and let us know. I just realized it's so weird to say share because like I've never like watched a YouTube video and like oh I'm gonna share this. Right. Yeah. Well, don't forget to like. And subscribe. You can share if you want to. Yeah. Well, I, honestly, you can do all of it if you want to. Like, I'm not, you know, I can't force you to do it. <laughs> and don't forget to follow us on social media. We have Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all at The Awesome Padrone Show. And we both have personal TikToks. You can follow that. And we also have one for the channel. Mm-hmm. But our personal TikToks are at shots.of.padrone. I need to get a better way of saying that. <laughs> and at The Real Marquez mm, Padrone. Well, maybe we'll just put them at the bottom here. Yeah. So which, yeah. Just, yeah. That's probably yeah. the best way to do it moving forward, honestly. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and you will see us later.